This is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey folks, welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. I'm your host, Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to talk about two of my favorite players of all time. One being Larry Bird, aka Larry Legend, and of course, this guy right here, Sean the Rayman Kevin. This actually was a present by former NBA player, Gert Hemming. So shout out to you, Gert. Thanks for giving this to me. This is amazing. Operated trading cards. Man, I love them back in the days. So, but before we get to today's episode, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is simplyseattle.com. So, if you are a fan of the Seattle Supersonics and you love Gary Payton and Sean Kemp and many other Seattle Supersonics players, check out the link in the description box below for autograph pieces like jerseys, t shirts, and everything, all the good stuff. All right, you guys, that was it. Let's get right into today's episode. First question we ask everybody who come on the show is uh, when you first made it to the NBA, who was the first person to bust your ass? Man, uh, I'm gonna keep this real with y'all, man. My ass got busted real early, man. I came into the league, man, I was <laughs> um, you know, You know how some of them vets, man, they play you to the team, man. I got played down in Boston one night. We was playing uh, Boston Celtics. So the great Larry Bird, I didn't really know much about him. You know, I'm from Indiana, Larry's from Indiana. I knew about the history of Larry, but I didn't realize how he really got down. So, how do we start this episode? Well, I would say, let me take you back to the late 1980s. This is exactly where this story begins. It is the year 1988. A young player that goes by the name of Sean Kemp is playing high school ball for Concord High. Not even in college, many basketball fans heard of this new phenomenon that is supposed to jump out of the building with the athletic ability of a Michael Jordan and a Dominic Wilkins, but with the handles of a guard. A player that could not only run the floor, but also grab a rebound and go coast to coast. I remember he did a, uh, a 360, I'm not sure who it was against, and he, he just went up and we just thought he was going to just have a normal dunk and next thing you know he's flying around in the air, bringing the house down. Sean was a sensation. During his senior year, Kemp signed a national letter of intent to play basketball at the University of Kentucky. Kemp failed to score the minimum of 700 on his SATs. In the year 1989, Sean Kemp signed up for the NBA draft and was selected with a 17th pick by the Seattle Supersonics. Being only 19 years old with no college basketball experience, Kemp was not only the youngest player on his team, but also had a rough time in his rookie season to adjust to the NBA, which was filled with NBA veterans and superstars like Larry Bird. The 89 draft found the Sonics taking a 19-year-old kid who had never played college ball. Sean Kemp became only the fourth player in NBA history to go directly from high school to the professional level. While Sean was adjusting to playing in the NBA, Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics were having a hard time themselves. Only a few years earlier, the Celtics were the most dominant team in the Eastern Conference. But now in the year 1989, it seemed that the bad boy Pistons have snatched that title from the Celtics. Larry Bird, who in the mid-1980s was considered by many to be the best player in the NBA, could not perform as he used to due to many injuries and his body literally breaking down. In the 1988 season, Larry could only play six games before finally giving in and getting surgery, much to the relief of his teammates. It was obvious that not only were Larry Bird's ankles hurting, but also his game. Although averaging 21 points, he had just one offensive rebound and had yet to attempt a three-point shot. All the pounding and all the playing I've done over the past 10 years, um, 
have caused a lot of my problems. There's no question about that. I think that uh, I got a lot of year, years left in me. He was hurting us both ways out there because he couldn't move the way he wanted to move. And so it's better to have the surgery and get it over with and uh, come back healthy. In the 1989-1990 season, Brett was back on the court and ready to show everyone that he could still perform on the highest level, and especially against the young up-and-coming stars, such as Sean Kemp. You know, I'm from Indiana, Larry's from Indiana. I knew about the history of Larry, but I didn't realize how he really got down. <laughs> when, we got to, when, we got, when we got to Boston that morning, I knew someone, right? I saw an X Man. He was limping around the court a little bit like he was sore. I figured he'd be all right, you know. Xavier McDaniel. Xavier McDaniel. I figured he'd be all right by the time. I go to the game on the early bus. I get there. They come out on the court. They say, hey, Sean, uh, you're starting the night against uh, Larry. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm all for it, though, you know? So, um, the X Man, he didn't play. He had a sore knee. But my point to you is this uh, Larry gave me. He gave me uh, he gave me fifty and three quarters. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was hitting everything, man, and he talked to me the whole entire game. He what did he say? Do. Well, first of all, he asked me to jump ball. He said, "You the cat that broke all my records in high school, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's me." He goes, "Yeah, you the one that used to jump <laughs> my brother too, right?" Now, Eddie and I was like, "Yeah, that's me." He said, "I got." You. Celtics still trying to search out a style of play. Bird will take the first shot. It's going to be an easy night for Boston's offense if they play half court. Bird again. He's two for two. But all right. Bird gets it back for three. Knocks it down. I'll tell you, that is a great shot. Larry got free. Hits over Kemp. Every shot he was calling. At the defensive end, he would tell me, he'd be like, when I get down to the other end, I'm going to pump face you, get a hand one on you, look at you, <laughs> pull off the glass. That's how cold Larry was. The Celtics have forced more turnovers tonight than in any other game this year, as Bird is now at 34 and counting. Larry, little runner, goes off the glass. Oh, boy. I haven't seen one of those in a while. 38 for Bird. Alley oop, Sean Kemp faked it on one side, got it on the other. The deer. Bird on the 20 year old Kemp takes a fall away. Oh, -ho! he's got 40. Now, since Sean Kent was always one of my favorite players and still is one of my favorite players of all time, I can't just show you highlights of Larry Bird destroying Sean. Because only one year later, Sean Kemp sort of had his little revenge on Larry Bird. The first year that I played against Larry Bird, uh, he scored 40 points on me in three quarters. It bothered me so bad that I actually took a picture of him and put it in my bathroom. No way. <laughs> and I, every morning I would get up just to look at him. So I told the team, I said, well, I'm going to give him back what he did to me. Lewis threw it away in traffic. Kemp gets it back. Boom. Some daylight. Can't make it work. And Cage is there with loose ball. He missed it, but it's tapped in by Sean Kemp. And wants a foul, but it's brought up the other end by Nate McMillan to Dana Barrows. Shaw stumbled momentarily into Sean Kemp, and he puts in the reverse jam. Dana Barrows. Now means to Kevin McHale, although he's not that good a dribbler. Six straight for the Celtics as McHale looked like a whooping crane. And over a good ball into the basket. And back the other way, Olden Colonies, I believe. Oh, it was Sean. Came up short. Kemp got his own rebound. He's fighting in traffic and converts the shot. He has expended a lot of energy in the second half. He's giving his Charles Barkley impression. And as Peyton loops into the shot, Kemp. Oh, the reverse jam and the foul. Well, that was a walk. Well, he's been doing that all night, but a little showtime for Sean. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. If so, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new to the show. Also, if you want to hear podcasts with me and former NBA players, please check out the Basketball Time Machine podcast on iTunes and on Spotify. All right, you guys, you all stay healthy. Take care and see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.